Hello, class. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, teacher. Hi, Nuri. Thank you for answering. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> Fine, teacher. You say good morning. Yes, because you know, like it's normal to say in school, good morning, class. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. How are you, Nuri? Mm, pretty well, teacher. How was your day you? today? I'm good, thank you. Uh, pretty busy, but Excuse anyways. Me? <laughs> pretty busy, but anyways. Oh, um, but busy is good. Yeah. Busy, busy is business. Yes. That's good. And I told the days. And excuse me, what? <laughs> I don't feel the days. Yeah, I, I, you know, I prefer to have a busy day at work than to have a slow day. Yes. Slow day is longer. Yes. Give me one second, class. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. So it's hot today, correct? No speaking today again. Okay, let's do, we're only going to do reading exercise. Let's go, go, go. <clears throat> I sometimes feel that many people just prefer to listen and, and copy. It's no problem. No, no, because you know it's sometimes no, and, and it's okay. I understand, but sometimes it's very difficult to speak with people and nobody answers because I don't know if they're paying attention. I don't know if if maybe they're not listening, but it's this is what I see. <laughs> and I'm talking and I look and nobody answers. So okay. <clears throat> so eventually I always end up talking only to the one or two people who are talking to me. Hmm. Yes, some people, you know, like, uh, yeah, they're a little scared to talk, you know. No, no, and no, and I don't know, and I, no, I understand that. There's some people like, but the problem is, I see this. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know if they're listening to me. Maybe if I, if I see some interaction, you know, like, oh, okay, he's listening, he just does. <laughs> <clears throat> no, but you have to speak. I mean, imagine. This is maybe, maybe the only one hour you have to speak. Yes. So we do it. Practice. Yeah. Do it. That's why, that's why I always recommend people to go to a call center. Yes, right. Because that's, that's, that's your school. Because you know how call centers usually, they work 10 hours a day to have two complete full days off. So can you imagine 10 hours of your day speaking English? Yes. Yeah. The problem is that you need to speak. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, that, you know, to go to a... Exactly. Exactly. That's the problem. That the majority of call centers, they they, uh -huh. they request. Yeah, it would be a little of English. And, uh, but, but I think the same. I think that people can learn or can be more fluent when working these kind of places exactly exactly that that's that's what i that's what i think because sometimes i see minimo 85% how how do you determine an 85% of how someone speaks how right it's a lie what 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 you really need 
in the call center is two things. Do they, can people understand you and do you understand? You and, know, I, I miss a chance. Yes? Yeah, I, I miss a chance because I couldn't connect connect uh, my my Zoom. Mm -hmm. No, they sent me a, a, a one, one link. It's a team team from from uh, from Windows. Okay. Team, I, I don't remember. The teams from the Google. teams, right? Yeah, they sent me a link, but I couldn't connect, and I missed the uh, reunion. You know, for information, okay. I think, and and I, I passed all the all the. Um, the request or the test uh, mm -hmm. I made, but you know, I missed a chance and, and they didn't give me another, another opportunity. Oh yeah, but you, you yeah, see, because I couldn't connect. I, yeah. I have worked in, in the call center business maybe for 20 years. Oh my God. No, maybe 20 years. <laughs> oh my God. Since 2004. Okay. And, um, Basic Francisco, you work in Telus, correct? Yes. Basically, basically, a call center depends on three things, like any company. Let's say Claro. Claro is a telephone company. So what do they do? They sell, they offer products, and they give tech support. And like all companies, there's customer service, yes. correct? Those are pretty much the three things in a call center. I recommend if you don't feel, uh, I recommend you to start with customer support. Why? Because a customer support, first of all, yes, you get angry people. Yeah. That's why it's customer support. I mean, Anybody who wants to speak with customer support is not for something good. <laughs> it's very, very strange that somebody calls. I want to speak with your customer support. Um, yes, may I ask what this is regarding? Well, because you are a good company. No, oh, come on. You, that will never happen. <laughs> but the only job of a customer support is. Oh, okay. May I speak with? Yeah, because I bought this, blah, 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 blah. Okay, no problem. Let me take your information. I'll send you to the correct department. That's it. So you wash yeah. your hands. Like that's what now tech support is the last thing I would do. I don't like that. Oh. And that's dangerous because that's where you get all kinds of people. You know, um, ah, my computer doesn't turn on. This you guys are full of blah 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 blah. And and sometimes you have to start, you have to the, the you have to analyze. You have to analyze the customer. And if you feel it's somebody very, very old that maybe doesn't know, you have to start, is, is the light on? Mm -hmm. uh, what light? No, it doesn't turn on. Okay, can you check if it's connected? Oh, no, it's not connected. And inside, <laughs> okay, sir, I'm glad I helped you. Anything I could do for you? Yeah. Y después están los que... Hay gente que no le gusta perder. They don't right. know, but they don't like to express. And, and me, I know that they don't know. No. You know, and then and those people are like arrogant people. And then, so that's why I really don't recommend you to start. If, if, if you're not good with patients and customer and tech support, you're... Now, sales is the best, but the most difficult. Why is the best? Because you're selling and that's what every company wants. I mean, if you work for Claro, who do you think is more useful for Claro? The person that is selling the phones, the plans, or the person that, bienvenido Claro, que viene? Apagar, ting, ting, and they give you the ticket. Who is more productive to Claro? Uh, who sells the product? Exactly. So in, in the company, they say like, that's not, 
you know, you're not productive because you're not making money. In sales, mm -hmm. you make money. So in sales is where you make more money, you make commissions and this, but you have metrics. Yeah. You know, like, and that, that's, that can be sometimes like, oh man, you know, hey, come on, man, you need this, you need this, you need this. And, you know, the metrics, they, they kind of kill you a little. Yes. But right. all, all kind of works in the yes. call center have metrics. <laughs> yes, it's true. Because I have a friend that he said that when he is speaking English, if someone is, is listening to his conversation and is taking the time that he is, is taking to yeah, call. but yes but sometimes well, they don't usually do that in every call they just randomly audit a call the problem is that you know the, you know what the biggest problem in call centers sometimes you enter the call centers sometimes maybe it's not your speaking maybe it's your understanding mm -hmm. people in the united okay imagine how many cultures are in the united states how many cultures are here in El Salvador? Just us. Yes. Yeah. Nosotros and maybe, maybe one or two gringos. Yo quiero ordenar pollo. Maybe, that's it. In the United States, yes or no, Francisco? Oh, man, there's Indian people, Black people, Puerto Rican people. I need some... the worst. Who? Chinese people. Oh, man. They like yes. I like and, robots yeah and they speak like hi i want to, i want to fix my my, my drain is not working and they speak and they exp it's like the one who knows yes he speaks like that but the, the one is like oh i want uh he... i personally i personally don't like when i get when i get so it was his time stop but it's not my intention i don't like black people well i no not the black people i don't like I don't like when I get sometimes black people because they speak they like rap. Them. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, oh man. Have you heard Snoop Doggy Dog speak? Yeah. Así hablan todos. Like the and they speak from fast. Mm -hmm. Es algo así, y esto se va a ir feo, pero han oído los lo puertorriqueños hablar o oh, oh, oh. este residente. Me gusta la música de él y todo, pero hablan Malísimo el español, man. Malísimo. Yeah. Y, yeah. y se lo hablan a cualquiera y lo hablan esperando que uno les va a entender. Mm -hmm. Este hombre, este hombre ahí, I'm sorry, no es hombre, es hombre. Mm. Right. Yeah, I understand if in Puerto Rico es hombre, but here is oh, oh, it's, not, it's hombre. Hola, you know? And um, that's a pretty much in the United States when people, Hindu people speak to you. <laughs> I have, I don't know, it's okay. uh, yes, can I have your name, please? Rashamira <laughs> Hadabahasa <laughs> Hayanai. Yeah. Yeah, you're like, oh man. You know who I like, Francisco? I like Canadian people. I work people, for people. a Canadian account. Oh yeah. What the but Canadian? Yeah, what you receive people? Chinese people in 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 India people. Oh, okay. No, but when you speak when you speak with a Canadian Canadian, they're very nice. You notice, but you know what? Uh, once I was in a call and and he asked me, like, "Where are you located?" And and I was like, mm, "Because we are not able to to say uh, out." Uh, but uh, the the thing is that. The, the men I just heard that like the Canadian accent and I thought that he was from from Canada but but he was an, an Egypt like he born there like from uh, when he was 12 and that's why he had the accent but but it was like yes you have that uh, that good point that is Canadian people is like they are they They're are very so nice. Cute. Yes. You know, it's funny. Listen to this class. This is funny. And this happened to me all the time. I don't know if it still happens. Um, I used to work in a call center. Uh, we're in the United States. No, we have to say El Salvador. And um, hey, where are you located? Um, in El Salvador. Oh, okay. That's that's Central America, right? Oh, yeah. Nice. I, it's warm. The weather. 
gringos or, or Europeans. Una venezolana. Oye, ¿dónde tú estás? Oh, está, ellos, estamos localizados en El Salvador. Salva, ¿A dónde queda eso? <risa> you know, Conchale, many, chica, le hubiera dicho. Many people from Latin America are oh. ignorant. One time my friend told me, the, the person next to me, mira que tan, que tan pobres somos que no nos conocen. No, it's not poverty, man. It's ignorance. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo es posible que alguien de Kenia sabe dónde queda El Salvador y alguien de, de Venezuela? No, that's ignorance. Yeah. yeah. ¿Dónde queda eso, chico? México. No, <laughs> Pero, oh, yeah, cuando me dijo eso, uh, le pude haber dado buenos precios, pero no la topé en lo más caro, pero me cayó mal. Oye, chica, búscate un mapa, lo hubiera hecho. Uh -huh. y, oh, tenía tantas cosas que me mordía por decirle. Como, uh, yeah. Le quería decir, no pasaron a cuarto, no pasan a, hasta qué grado llegan en Venezuela, disculpe, no entiendo. Porque aquí en el cuarto grado los niños ya le enseñan un mapa de Latinoamérica y eso se aprende en estudios sociales. ¿no? Yeah, you know, ajá, pero todos, oh, ay, but you know, it's ignorance. <laughs> but anyways, what I'm telling you, like, when you feel, well, uh, some people that, some children that they don't really need money because they have money, se meten a call centers, but just to, just to learn English. And, and it's a good idea. It's not bad. It's not bad. And then it becomes like addictive, like, oh, oh cool. It's, it's, a, it's a very good experience. I recommend it. Right. Yeah, so, um, so those are the three things that, like in any company, so if you ever go to a call center, think about that. I, I recommend you, me, I like sales, and I think I, I could sell, so I like money. Mm -hmm. So I would jump for that. And then second, maybe customer support, but the last is customer care is support. I'm sorry, second customer care and the last is customer support. Eso sí les cae, like, todo. Bendiciones. Oh, yeah, ya aprendí de estafas. <laughs> Not estafas, but like insurance. Yes or no? Have you bought, have you bought, for example, have you bought recently a washer or a refrigerator? In, in, in Curaçao or Simán. No, not worth any. They go, how much is it? So in 18 months, in 18 meses, o ya lo meten, in 18 meses, con la garantía, le sale a 60 dólares. No, 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 mm -hmm. pero sin garantía. Sí, pero que mira la garantía. Garantía in, in every company is the money. For you as a sell. But really, you have to, have to really understand what the warranty is. When I worked in Dell, we sold the computers with warranty. Oh, and, and you know, good news, Mist. Esto viene con garantía. Mentira, ya se lo había puesto. And this covers, si algo le pasa a su compu, le mandamos otra. Really? Oh, yeah. Nice. Boom, boom. Okay, good. And then they call. My computer doesn't work. And I say, okay, porque un virus. Ah, oh, okay. Yo tengo garantía. Yeah. Yes, your warranty covers the hardware, not the software. Mm -hmm. Because they know that the majority of the problems of computers is always the software. Oh, yeah. And I don't understand. Yes, yes. If your mouse gets broken, no problem. We send you another one. 50 cents. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. But and then you have to tell them, do you understand the difference between... Oh, no, no, no. Um, excuse me, you see, the thing is hardware and software. Hardware is what you see and touch in the computer. Software is what you don't see. And your problem in this moment is software and that doesn't cover the warranty. Yeah, he said, I had to the tech support. And he had to swallow like, ah, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> yeah, so. That's why after that, every time I would buy a TV or something, uh, no, 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 no warranty, please. No, pero es que fíjese, ¿qué cubre la garantía? No, si un buen defecto, ¿qué tipo de defecto? Y ahí no saben. O sea, no, no, no. 
<laughs> yeah, so I after that I learned always ask. Yes. All right. And that's that's a very good um and the warranty became very, very famous. You know, you know who actually made the boom in warranty? Here in El Salvador. No, in the world. In the world. In in, in modern time. No. So modern like the 20 años para acá, you, you have you noticed that from 20 years to now, everything has warranty. Yes. And the material of everything is bad. Cars, furniture, everything. We uh, they in a in a practice we had who started this was iPod. Remember the iPod? Yes. Do you remember the cell phones before? Los antigolpes and todo. Boy, they, they would throw it from like three stories that bounce. Motorola. Yes. Oh, no cure. Uh -huh. So if you think about that, and everybody, man, this, the battery for four days, Apple saw that and they say, hmm, no, we want to sell the product and sell more with the product. Mm -hmm. So Apple invented the iPod. The iPod was everything totally different to the Motorola's. Right. Very, very fragile. And, and everybody says, oh, yeah, esto se va a quebrar. oh, yeah, but we have covers, $40. Mm -hmm. No, you can't because it's sealed. So they were pretty smart, and the battery only lasted like two years. So uh, when people loved it, like, wow, they made a very, very good software system, but bien. Look at the cell phones now. It's like, this is my cell phone. It's very nice, y todo, pero if I drop it, so I had to buy this stupid big thing on it. Yeah. yeah. And now my cell phone, which is very thin, when I put this, it looks very fat. Mm -hmm. See, so I, I put, and many companies copied iPod. It's like, oh, okay, so let's start making everything breakable. Mm -hmm. Before it was unbreakable. Now everything's breakable. Look at the cars now. Yeah, right. Yes. The... Una, una vecina compró un Sonic, Chevy Sonic, nice car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you touch it and boom. The camera <laughs> oh, <laughs> Because you have to buy warranty or you have to buy insurance. That's the business. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Hey, Larry, where are you? <laughs> you changed rooms, huh? You got scared for the ghost. <laughs> no. Larry. Uh, hi, how are you? No, I'm uh, the, the terror, like a terrorist. Larry, if I tell you something, will you believe me? Yeah, tell me. <laughs> you know I can hear noise, but but very distant, but you hear that noise right now. No, but it's, it, it doesn't bother. Oh, really? Yeah. But but oh. the, this is how it sounds like a little, like. <laughs> but, sounds but, like a wind. Yes, but right now it's very, very low. It's, it's It doesn't bother, but. And, and what <laughs> the about now? is with you everywhere you, know, Larry, you are. Yes. What you about live, now? You live next to a nuclear plant or something, Larry. Maybe. Chernobyl. <laughs> Chernobyl. Hey, did you watch the, the, the TV show? The, the no. documentary of Chernobyl? The movie is a good one, too. Where? The, the movie on Netflix. Oh, I haven't seen that. I saw the original. Man, it was good. Yeah. The original was good in Chernobyl. <clears throat> OK, let's do this. Let's see what we're doing yesterday. Do you see my screen? No. Not yet. What about now? Um, yes. 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 Okay, now these are reduced time clauses.
Let's see. Finish up these following sentences. I can concentrate after. I take a nap whenever. Okay. Hi, are you ready to learn about reduced time clauses? Stay and learn what they are about. We will learn today about how some adverb clauses of time can be changed to modify phrases, but only when the subject of the adverb clause and the main clause are the same. If you use time expressions like right before, before, right after, after, and while, the time clauses can be reduced. Let's study the following sentences. After I finish my work, I head to the office. After finishing my work, I head to the office. Notice how on the second sentence we omit the subject and change the verb finish to present participle, finishing. Remember the present participle always ends in ing. This is another example using while. While I take my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. It can be changed too. While taking my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. Notice we omitted the subject again and the verb take became taking. However, other time clauses cannot usually be reduced. For example, ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble getting up early. As soon as I get up in the morning, I race off to the gym. Real quick, real quick, short and simple. What is ever since? Ever since. From After that moment. Before. After that moment. Okay. Yes, after that yeah. moment. Yeah, you say this. To, you try something. Yeah. After that moment, until now, I continue that. Yes. Do you watch The Simpsons? Yes. Yeah. Do you know who is Barney? Barney, the, the man from the bar. No. Yeah, the drunk. The, the uh, drunk, yes. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's Homer's best friend, the one who's always drinking. Do you know how he started drinking? No. You never saw that episode, how he became an alcoholic? It was funny because um, he was very intelligent and he was very dedicated in the university. And he was in the same room with Homer. And Homer was always partying and always saying, here, Barney, drink. He's like, no, Homer, I have an exam tomorrow. And, and Barney was always, always studying. And um, Homer insisted so many times, just one, one will never happen. <laughs> and you see Barney, like he, his hair was very nice and okay. And when he drinks it, oh, his eye. <laughs> And he only, and after that, he became a big alcoholic. So ever since that beer, that moment, he has been an alcoholic. He go, where have you been all my life? <laughs> it's funny. But that's what I'm saying, ever since. So ever since, in that moment, until now, because I believe somebody told me yesterday Ever since I was a little girl or boy, I climbed trees. I do. Oh, okay. Um, if you climb trees today, uh, hoy en día, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, then ever since is not correct. Yes. All right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So ever since is from that moment to now. I... I started living, I, we bought this house five years ago, and we live here ever since. I met my wife. I don't know, 12, <laughs> between 12 or 15 years ago, I don't remember. And I have been with her ever since. Excuse me? This. 
Let me see. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm not good with, with dates or anything. That's why I love Facebook, man. Facebook always reminds me, today is somebody's birthday. Today's your anniversary. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Last year, last year, I forgot my wife's birthday. <clears throat> but because, but I woke up in the morning, right? Oh, and I went to the bathroom and I started looking. Today's Claudia's birthday. <clears throat> oh my God. But it was like five in the morning. So I went back to the room, shower. Happy birthday, baby. And my wife, oh, <laughs> que lindo. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, thank you, Facebook. <laughs> Save okay. it by, by Facebook. Yes, and then okay, today we will go to a restaurant wherever you want. So <laughs> nice. Yes. Hey, that's a good, you know, always remember Facebook is your friend. As soon as in Buen Salvadoreño, al no más. No más. Yeah, yes. Call me as soon as you get there. Until. The difference between ever since and until. Hagamos ese ejemplo de climbing trees. When I was a little kid, I climbed trees until until I was 25 or until I was 20, I no podía. So until that's where the action stopped. Ever since is when the action started. Until is in that moment, it stopped. Yeah. I used to smoke until 10 years ago, I think. I used to smoke until 10 years ago. I stopped smoking. So do you understand the difference between ever since and until? Yes. People say, no, lo mismo. No, man, it's totally, they're totally, like totally different. Yeah. Ever since is when the, when the action started. And until is when that action's finished. You stopped, yeah. Whenever is ever since, until and as soon as, <laughs> any time. Mm -hmm. And from the moment is ever since. Similar. Yeah. I've been with my wife from the moment I met her. Yes. Estaba entre ella y Scarlett Johansson, pero. All right, so let's see here. Listening exercise, I think we did this yesterday, no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We did the listening. Expressions about sleep. Let's hear this. Hi, what are your sleeping habits? We'll teach you some expressions about sleep. Expressions related to sleep. Be fast asleep. Be sound asleep. Be wide awake. Drift off. Feel drowsy. Have a sleepless night. Not off. Sleep like a log. Take a power nap. Toss and turn. We want you to write the following categories on your notebook. Number one, having trouble sleeping. Number two, following categories on your Fast asleep. <clears throat> what do you think that is? You sleep right away. In yes, you, you, you fall asleep fast. Oh, yeah. As soon as you touch your bed. Uh, I have that ability. I fall asleep very fast, like. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, teacher. You know, I'm, I'm glad talking, for that. 
I'm talking with my husband and suddenly I don't answer. Yeah, him. Now, yeah me too. Now I can't watch a movie. <laughs> like tomorrow, tomorrow's my day off. Mm -hmm. And I say, okay, after mm -hmm. class, I'm going to watch Batman. <laughs> and I promise you that I'm going to put it on and in 10 minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so, that's, so then the expression is, I am fast asleep. Okay. Sound asleep. What is sound asleep? No. I don't know. Like, uh, snor snoring is like sound asleep. I... Yeah, no. Okay, actually, yeah, I understand why because of the sound, but actually, sound asleep is sueño profundo. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen in the movies cuando va la papa a ver al niño? Oh, sh he's sound asleep. So he's. I don't wake up. Yes, usually, what time do you go to bed? For me, 10, 10 p.m. Okay, 10 p.m. So, me, 10 PM. Okay, so imagine you go, to, you go to sleep at 10 p.m., all right? At 11 p.m., you're still maybe not sound asleep. Sound asleep is when you reach that point that you no sienten el temblor, you know? <laughs> you ne you yeah. never get back. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, it's like, you know that happens? Like, you know, because you are sound asleep. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bless you. Uh, bless, you. bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher, and that that um, that uh, is common use. Be sound asleep. Oh right? yes. Oh, okay. Yes, and and listen. Whenever you watch a movie, like. How are the kids? Okay. Oh, they're sound asleep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or if you're chatting with someone else, it, it know, yeah? she's sound asleep. You know, like, oh. But he's sound asleep. It's like, shh. And Salvador Salvadoreño ya está fundado. 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 It's like when, when, remember, I don't know si le ha pasado, un día se han pasado de copa y, y se quedan como, bueno, encunetado. Yeah, like, oh man, he's sound asleep. Yeah, yeah. Como muertos, like yeah, like, hey, wake up, wake up, man. <laughs> wake up, man. My, um, my wife is very sound asleep because like, for example, remember like one month ago, I, th I think it was one month ago, there was an earthquake at night. Yeah. 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 Okay. That day I was like, oh, sh hey, my wife, she, mm, hey, yo me paré y me fui a ver a niños. <laughs> me dejaste en el cuarto. Hey man, I tried to wake you up. You were sound asleep. We all die or only you die, but <laughs> right. so that's the expression sound asleep. Be wide awake. Wide awake is when you're at two in the morning like this. Wide. Away. Wide. Your eyes open wide. You know, that means when you are totally not sleeping ni sueño like insomnio man because this is not wide awake <clears throat> that's sleepy I have wide heard, awake hmm? i have heard this this expression be wide awake when you are putting attention very i don't know i don't know if you can be very concentrated yes <laughs> it's, it's an expression yeah. because you have to be wide awake because when you're wide mm -hmm. awake the expression is that your oh. eyes are wide open yes 
sometimes. With your, your eyes pelados. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you remember, uh, whoever here is a father, do you remember when your son or daughter was a baby? Yes. Like yes. at four, four in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> and you look in the monitor, oh my God, he's wide awake. <laughs> you know, and they're yeah. standing up. <laughs> Yeah, that's wide awake. <laughs> Pepas peladas. I think it's in Spanish, right? Yeah. Yeah. Drift off. Listen to this. Remember, these are expressions. So drift mm -hmm. off is kind of similar to sound asleep. But drift off, listen, drift. Do you, first of all, do you understand what drift is? A boat, no. a boat, a ship, the Titanic, it drifted to the sea. A la deriva. The expression, it drifted. Deslizando. The movie. Se fue. Se fue. Uh -huh. Han oído de esos sueños astrales. No. Yeah, no. no. No, si creo, no, si lo han oído, but supposedly like, like you're sleeping <laughs> and then your, your soul drifts from your body. Mm -hmm. El famoso desdoblamiento. Eso. But that expression, if you ask, hey, que sueño astral, oh, that's when you're sleeping and your soul, el alma, drift from your body. So drift away es como, shh. you know, when you fall asleep, it's uno siente que, shh. I don't, I, I, I can't imagine a, una palabra similar en español. Drift away is. Desprenderse. Uh -huh. Ajá, me desprendí. Tuve un buen sueño. Pude ayer dormir tan cansado. Y dormí, o sea, cuando uno duerme cómodo. O sea, drift away hasta cierto punto uh -huh. es algo positivo. Como, oh, man. Uh -huh. Estaba tan rico ese, ese. Uh -huh. Ese sofá, y me quedé ahí y drift away. Como, es como cuando uno va a la playa y se queda acostado en esas cosas inflables. <laughs> yeah, it's like you, you, you're having a good sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and you wake up like this. <laughs> wow, Happy. qué rico. Uh, that's, you drift off. So you had a good sleep. Mm -hmm. Feel okay. drowsy. I don't understand why this is an expression of sleep. Feel drowsy. Drowsy. Um, drowsy is, I feel drowsy. Tengo malestar. Me siento mareado. Drowsy. Y no entiendo por qué tiene que ver con sleep. Es la like 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 somnoliento, maybe. Yeah. Ma, ma, oh, yeah. Okay, oh, sí, entiendo. Yeah, drowsy. Some of the, drowsy. the medicine oh. from the, for allergies, it comes this, uh, it causes drowsiness. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay, yeah. You're true. Sí. You, uh -huh, the doctor said you, you cannot feel, feel drowsy. drowsy, pero drowsy is like you cannot feel mareado. Mm -hmm. Pero es cierto, yeah, cuando no se marea, equivale a sueño. Like, um, yeah, drowsy. Have a sleepless night. You, you, you didn't on. sleep. You can sleep. Yeah, you didn't sleep at all. Hey, what happened to you, man? You looked bad. Oh, man, yesterday I had a sleepless night. Why? Got some stupid cats in my roof. They fought all night and damn man, I couldn't sleep. So I woke up at two in the morning, and after two in the morning, I was wide awake. In my bed, I was wide awake. Like and I tried to go to sleep, like no, concentrate, 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 and bah, wide awake. Nod off. This is funny. Listen, nod is this.
<laughs> Can you hear me? Nod. Cabezazos, cabezadas. Do you like Pink Floyd? Cabezada. Does anybody here like Pink Floyd? Pink Floyd. Yes. Yeah. Breaking break yes. the wall. Yeah, I know, but it's like comfortably numb, you know. Hello, is there anybody in there? Great song. Yeah. yeah. In case it just not if you could hear me. Mm -hmm. That's usually what doctors say. Can you hear me? Nod. Yeah. In the in the, the the son of Men in Black Two teacher, Will Smith, nod your head. The, the black suits come in. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. black, Men in black too. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's true. So nod is that expression. Nod yes or no. So not off is this. <laughs> Usually people in the buses. Yeah. yeah, in the buses, everybody nods off. Oh, the majority of people is like that work too. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that's how we work. Hey, some people driving. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a meeting, a boring meeting. Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> Estaba viendo que se me, no sé quién, en Estados Unidos están, eh, hay una aplicación que usan niños en clases virtuales, que se pueden dormir y aparecen que ellos están moviéndose. <laughs> really? <laughs> Ajá, it's so cool. Eso estaba viendo un show, like, you see the kid like this. <laughs> and maybe he's sleeping. <laughs> yeah. So then the, the app, I don't know, they, they record you for uh, the app makes you move or, or makes you do something that like, you know, oh, okay. <laughs> That's smart. Okay, sleep like a log. Log es un tronco. Y creo que en El Salvador hay una expresión que sería bulto. bulto. Okay, now the difference that between between be sound asleep and sleep like a log is is maybe the same, but sleep like a log is you can't sorry, they can't move you. Yo creo que ese sería el, el, el borracho. Sleep like a log. No. Yeah, that you can't move him. I mean, un tronco ahí, el tronco pesa. Yes? Yeah. That would be the drunk. He's like, oh man, he's sleeping like a log. You can't move him. A drunk man. Yeah. No, or not necessarily um, drunk, but anybody. Yeah, yeah. Some people, like, sometimes, um, you know, so I remember before, sometimes I was so, so tired. I just went home and with my clothes, I just went to the room. <sighs> Bike a log. Yeah. Power nap. Yo creo que esas ya existen en español esa palabra. Power nap. Short and sleep. Yes, it's like you have lunch one hour, you eat in 30 minutes. I'm going to take a 20 minute power nap. I always do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, well, in Telos is cool, man. Maybe there is a there is a place like uh, nobody before before we get there uh, in, in my way uh, my coworkers were like uh, they saw the seat because it's it's, a, it's like a circle uh, but uh, with with uh, a lot of uh, big, with plastic like the normal chair from us like like the bolsero la cosita de hule. In, in it's it's a circle, but it seems like like a like a middle moon, and you can sit there. As always people was like with the with the cell phone and everything. And when I saw that thing, I just saw like an, an hammock, and I I just thought when I will be there, I will sleep there, and I always take my nap. Yes, <laughs> it's the power that. naps. It's, it's very um, like funny sometimes because some people is like they are passing by and just they look at you. What, what's he doing? 
that weird though. <laughs> yes, it's true. Okay, listen, lesson objective. By, by the end of this session, participants will learn how to use clauses stating reasons and conditions. Let's see this class. Hello, even if, as long as, unless, our examples of clauses stating reasons and condition, stay with us for the explanation. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. I will group them for you in the following ways. Considering that introduces another clause of reason, as long as, even if, unless, and only if introduce another clause of condition, just in case, or in case, also introduces another clause of condition. It is used when an undesirable circumstance or condition needs to be taken into account, but the condition is considered very unlikely to happen. Now let's go over the following chart. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. Even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause, I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm really tired. Considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. As long as introduces a condition. Okay, let's do let's do this. Let's go one by one here. Let's do even if. Let me see, Rafael Mayen. Hi, teacher. Okay. Hello. Rafael, do you have tattoos? No, I don't have a teacher. Um, do you want to get a tattoo? Uh, in one, yes. I, I sometimes it crosses my mind. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Then that that will not work. Um, <laughs> do you like Mauricio Funes? No, no, teacher, I don't like him. Imagine, imagine Mauricio Funes goes for president again. Would you vote for him? Um, if, um, no, I would you vote for him, yes or no? Uh, no, no, teacher. No, not I teacher. wouldn't. You wouldn't vote for Mauricio Funes. Okay, no, good. I I, okay, good. I don't have a question for you. Listen. Okay. So you wouldn't know what that is for Mauricio Funes, okay? Do you like Scarlett no. Johansson? Yes, I like her. <laughs> Imagine Scarlett Johansson tells you, please, please vote for Mauricio Funes, Rafael, please. Would you vote for Mauricio Funes? Even if the lovely Scarlett Johansson told me to vote for Mauricio Funes, I didn't do it. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I okay, so it. very good. You see, this is the example. Okay, number one, Rafael said he wouldn't vote for uh, for Mauricio Funes. So I I tried to trick him. What if or if is a condition always? Remember. Yeah. What if Mar if Scarlett Johansson, Rafael, if you vote for Mauricio Funes, I would kiss you. And he says, I'm sorry, Scarlett. Even if you kiss me, I wouldn't vote for Mauricio Funes. Ahora, si él dice, okay, yes, I would vote for Mauricio Funes if you kiss me. ¿Saben qué diría yo? Yes, if you kiss me, I would vote for Mauricio Funes. Yes, yes, okay. Thank you. Pero no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no for... <laughs> Anyways, the vote is a secret, so she will never see. No. So even if it's a condition. Yeah. All right. Even if it's a condition. Yes. So I use the Mauricio Funes for example because yo creo que mucha gente nunca votaría por él jamás, you know. Um, okay. not, not FMLN, I'm saying about uh, Mauricio Funes. And then entonces uno pone would you if they they not as conditions? This is similar yeah. to even though. Even though? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, I remember Alex, my party in, in La Campanera. Can you go? 
No, I say no. I Why say not? No. Why not? Because um, people say it's too dangerous for them. Yeah, but we're going to have security cameras. Even if, good. Even if you have uh, security cars and, and cameras, no, uh, I won't go. Excellent, very good. <laughs> now let's read, it says, even if, even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause. <clears throat> So the security cameras did not influence Alex? Scarlett Johansson did not influence Rafael? Yeah. Esther, do you like Bad no. Bunny? Sorry, do, you want to go, do you want to go to the Bad Bunny concert? Do you want to go to the Bad Bunny concert? Concert? Do you know Bad Bunny? Oh, uh, no, it's not. Uh, 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 bad Bunny, Bad Bunny, and Reggaetonero, Bad Bunny. Oh, no, teacher, no. Okay, good. You don't like Bad Bunny? No, teacher. Would you go to the Bad Bunny concert if I give you free tickets? No. Ah, y dijo lo más fácil, dijo no. I can tell you. Yeah, but say it complete. No. ¿Sabe, sabe no. que, no sé si les conté, de, por eso es que mucha gente me dice, que mire, teacher, yo, yo entiendo todo, pero a mí lo que me cuesta es hablarlo. <laughs> It's because of this. No, no worry, no worries. Eso es lo que quiero que hagan, que se equivoquen. O sea, no quiero que se equivoquen, pero eso es lo que espero, porque mm -hmm. obviamente si nos... Por eso está en este nivel. Si pudieran muchos, estuvieran otros. Si pudieran menos, estuvieran esto. Entonces, no, I wouldn't go to the Bad Bunny concert. Repeat. Okay. Repeat me, please. Yes. Uh, no, I wouldn't go to the Bad Bunny concert. No, I would not. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, please repeat. No, I wouldn't go to the Bad Bunny concert. Uh, no, standard. Um, or okay, the okay, please, place. please. Okay, wait, please. Si uno empieza a decir, um, uh, um, we, 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 just, we don't concentrate. Listen, no, I wouldn't go to the Bad Bunny concert. Sorry, teacher. Eh, ¿Me entiende lo que le quiero decir? Only okay. if Bad there, Bunny, if Bad Bunny and concert. Do you understand Bad Bunny and concert? Um, no, no okay. está, teacher. Tigres del Norte. Do you like Tigres del Norte? No, like me, teacher. You don't like Tigres del Norte? No. Okay, good. I like, I like Tigres del Norte. They're cool. Um, would you go to the Tigres del Norte concert if I give you tickets? Listen, Tigres del Norte, concert, tickets. Tigres del Norte, It's similar concert, Spanish. Uh -huh. o sea, so listen, would you go to the Tigres del Norte concert if I give you tickets? No entendió. Uh, no, it's okay, it's okay. Pero si no entienden, entiendo. No hay problema. El problema es que nunca me preguntan. O nunca me dicen, teacher, I don't understand. That's, that's a problem. Que no entiendan, it's not a problem. It's okay, it's no problem. 
El problema es que no me dicen. I don't understand. Yes. Le estaba preguntando si usted iría. Would you go al concierto de los Tigres del Norte? Sí, le doy tiquetes. I don't. Y la respuesta sería no, no iría. I wouldn't go to the Tigres del Norte concert even if you give me free tickets. For example, okay. class, entienden lo que yo quiero decir aquí. Oigan, I wouldn't go to the Bad Bunny concert even if you pay me $100. Yes. 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 Even if you pay me, pay me $100, I wouldn't I go. go. Answer. And if your husband told you, David, come to the Bad Bunny concert with me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, uh -huh. what? Uh -huh, teacher, teacher. Even, awesome. even uh -huh. if your husband told you, David, come with me to the Bad Bunny concert. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Tell and us, pass. teacher. Oh, oh man. Pass whole night with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of difficult. <laughs> and we're going to wake up tomorrow. I would have to think very much. <laughs> oh, man. If, if Scarlett Johansson tells me, would you go to the Bad Bunny concert with me? I'm going to be man. Like, with <laughs> singing, singing loud. Yeah. Tomorrow night, I will memorize all his songs for the concert with with a with a chart costume. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Right. So, um, I like this explanation on 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 the platform about even if. So that remember, the condition doesn't influence my decision, or it influences my decision. But I see in, in Fluya, of course, the answer is affirmative. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Por ejemplo, en Navidad del Centro, ¿se acuerdan? Tipo 20, 21 de Diciembre, el Centro. Yes. Mm. San Salvador. I wouldn't go to downtown mm -hmm. San Salvador in December 20th, in, in the 20s. Even if yeah. everything is in discount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. To crawl. Yes. I wouldn't go to an Alianza fast con uh, game, even if it's $5 the entrance. All right. <laughs> yes. Can you tell me something you wouldn't do, even if, Oscar? Okay. Um... I wouldn't go to uh, maybe Ukraine, even if you pay me, if, even if you pay uh, the flight ticket, maybe. I would, man. The women there are beautiful. <laughs> yes, but maybe. <laughs> but you know what? You know I what, would. Oscar? Oscar, you see, I don't understand what's really happening <laughs> because um, Ukraine. Because, you know, the news today, you don't know what to believe because hay guerra, pero yo no estoy viendo muertos o bombardeos. So I, I don't understand what's happening. I know there's a war. Have you noticed? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But you know, and I see, oh my God, the invasion and this and that. But when I watch the news, I don't, I don't see. The thing is, I, th I think that uh, some news are now shown in the yes TV. So, but but so for example, for example, in this moment, like in the United States, like for example, here, if you don't like Bukele, you read El Faro, correct? Yes. Or you read La Prensa Gráfica. Yes. In the United yes. States, it's igual. It's like um, CNN is the Biden. Yes. Fox, uh -huh. Fox yes. is Trump. And that's why the problem, because remember Bukele and uh, Trump, they had a good relation. Yes. So now Fox, uh, CNN is very bad with, with the government in El Salvador. <laughs> so, entonces, that's why, hoy me doy cuenta y me digo, shit, ya no sé cuál ver por la guerra, you know, like, <laughs> uh -huh, because yes. quiero saber qué está pasando, pero uh, I, I read... Not Clearly. Exactly. Clear I read, I read, but I know not to believe everything. Yes. <laughs> because um, I like remember the war in Iraq. I see it. 
Cada rato. We have a lot of information mm -hmm. about oh, it. Yeah, like 10,000 people killed, 5,000 people killed. But I don't know. But that was a good example. In this moment, I wouldn't go to Ukraine even if you pay my ticket. Alex, can you give me an example? Okay. Um, um. Oh, listen. I would never, never use a CR7 shirt, even if you pay me. <laughs> I would never use a Real Madrid shirt. I will never ever use a Messi teacher or Barcelona teacher, even if you gave you give me a lot of teachers. No, but it's okay because only special people use that shirt. <laughs> you you have to be special. Not for everyone. <laughs> yes, they're not for everyone. <laughs> no, but I, I'm glad. I'm happy you're kind of understanding. So we, before we finish, Alex, give me your last example. Yeah, for example, um, I will go to um, to um, for vacation to Jalisco, Jalisco, Mexico. Even uh, if but, you, excuse uh, me, I won't go. Ah, uh -huh, but that's bad because you started affirmative. So in this case, you don't need even if. Oh, okay, for example. Porque even if it's aunque, remember? Yeah. Okay. I would go to Jalisco, Mexico. No, it sería, I wouldn't I go. Oh, I wouldn't. Yes, you have to, you always have to start negative this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because remember, uh, the, the condition will not influence your decision. Yeah, just um, probably the, the, the accent. I wouldn't go to Jalisco. Or Mexico, even if you pay me a round trip. Good. Why not? Jalisco. Uh, of course, uh, the cartel over there is too dangerous. Oh, I just, okay. I just saw a new they, 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 they kill or, or you know, the cartel. They, they said uh, they want to kill. Oh, they're making a war between between the cartels. Right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's. Because it's too dangerous over there. Yeah. Los Uber drivers, me imagino que. Acá, mire, señora, no la llevaría ahí, aunque usted me pague el triple. <laughs> Pero right. no entro. <laughs> ahí a la una de la mañana. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Some, some places in Suez, Palma. No? no, dicen que el, el más feo es Distrito Italia en Apopa. Es un poco tonaca de peque, dice. Dicen que hasta la policía places. paga renta para entrar. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Ok, mañana vamos a seguir con esto. And remember, hay clase mañana, ok? Yeah. Mañana, okay. Vaya, por ejemplo, vamos a hacer el consider uh, um, as long as, vaya, por ejemplo, Alex no va a ir a mi fiesta en la campanera, aunque va a haber cámaras de seguridad. Pero si yo digo, what about if, if police will be there? The police will be at the entrance and, and the police, okay. Eh. I would go as long as you guarantee me police will be everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Y aún así no fuera. Okay. Even if. Even if, yeah. I wouldn't go even if you guarantee me that the police will take me back and then there will be the, the army. No. Yeah. Okay. Milagro de la Paz en San Miguel. Oh, my God. Yeah, Milagro de la Paz. Yes. Yeah. Okay, class. Thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow, okay? See you. Thank you, teachers. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Night. Bye. 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 Bye.